Let's take a look over the hardware of this phone. We have ARMB7 processor on this device. The model number is 1 over there. And we have 2.5 GHz processor which is a quad core processor. It is Qualcomm MSM8974 Pro AC that is Snapdragon 801. Taking a look over the display, we can see that the display resolution is 1080 into 1920 and the refresh rate is 63 hertz when it comes to GPU which we have Adreno 330 as the GPU on this phone and we have all these sensors which are there on this phone which includes accelerometer sensor, magnetic field sensor, you have gesture, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, you have gravity, rotation vector, you also have step detector and step counter that means you have pedometer sensor as well on this device, you have significant motion detector sensor as well, geomagnetic rotation vector sensor is there. So this phone even when it is an affordable budget phone I would say especially in the flagship uh, category uh, as a top-notch hardware which you can get on this phone this phone has almost all the sensors which you will need on any smartphone out there which is definitely a good thing because the kind of pricing at which it will be available in India will be approximately 20 to 25 thousand rupees and for that price the kind of sensors you are getting on this phone you don't get almost all the sensors like these on even flagship phones these days which are coming from bigger brands on benchmark front we have got a very good score on this device which is 44782 as you can see and it is at the top as compared to any other flagship phone from different respective companies as you can see it is above samsung galaxy s5 xiaomi mi 3 and htc one m 8 as well so benchmark figures are pretty good and the day-to-day -day performance of this phone is also pretty decent let's find out how much multi touch point does this phone support so talking about the multi touch points this uh, this phone supports 10 point multi touch and let's take a look over the nina mark benchmark utility for gaming on nina mark we have got a score of 61.5 fps and as you can see this is one of the best score which you can get and this device can handle almost any high definition game provided you have storage for the same again this one does not have an sd card slot so you will be limited with the storage which is approximately 11 gb which you will get on the 16 gb variant of this phone but in case you buy the 32 gb variant of one plus one you will get approximately 23 gb which is quite sufficient to have more high definition games so as of now we have installed couple of games on this device which includes temple run OZ, which is a casual game we have modern combat 5 which is the most graphic intensive game out of all and we have blood and glory which is also a pretty medium graphic intensive game so let me just start with temple run OZ to show you the overall performance of this device when it comes to gaming so now we are playing this game called Temple Run OZ as you can see and I can see the graphics of the games are being rendered very nicely and touchscreen is also very responsive it is almost instant response which I can get from the touchscreen which is good and there is no problem while playing this game on this device let me just turn the volume to full The loudspeaker on the device is also fairly loud and the viewing angles are also good enough when you play this game or any other game like this as you can see gravity sensor on the phone is also working well now here we have the game loaded which is blood and glory and let me just play this game on this device to show you the performance of this one when it comes to this game So till now I cannot see any kind of graphic lag on this device, it is pretty responsive, all the gaming controls are accessible and I can easily play this game on this device, I can turn the volume to full. So you can play this game on this device without any issues as you can see. So there is no problem while playing this game on this device which is definitely a good thing. So 
so you can play this game on this phone without any kind of graphic lag or any other issues as far as gaming is concerned so now we are playing this game called modern combat 5 which is one of the most graphic nicer games and i can easily play this game on this device without any issues So in terms of gaming performance, I am not facing any issues with this device. As you can see, graphics are all working fine. Loudspeaker is fairly loud on this device when I play this game. And I can access all the controls on this device when I play this game, as you can see. In terms of gaming it is good and I do not notice any issues with this phone and I can easily play this game on this device. So as you can see you can play this game on this device without any issues.